At first I wasn't gonna make a video, and then I saw this artifact and it blew my mind. So this is the Continental Gunboat Philadelphia from 1776. This is from the Battle of Saratoga. And what is amazing about the Battle of Saratoga is this is where um, Benedict Arnold fights for America. And basically, he's the hero of Saratoga. It's a turning point for when the French join the uh, American Revolution. Benedict Arnold is now mostly forgotten or he's thought of as a traitor, but without Benedict Arnold, we would not have won Saratoga, we would not have had the French enter the American Revolution, and we would not probably have won. And so this gunboat is so important. It was sunk uh, at the battle, and then 160 years later, it was brought up in 1935. October 11th, 1776, when a 24 pound shot from British forces hit the boat and caused rapid flooding. But when they found it, it was, it had sunk straight down and they could still see the mast. This is where it was hit by the British gunboat and it sunk, so you can still see the cannonball right there. But I'm gonna go up and show you the top because it's super cool. But you can look at all these cool anchors and stuff. And look at the canvas, but I'm going to show you the top. I saw this Philadelphia, what it would have looked like at the time. So you can see this a lot more built up wood and the men on the top of the ship. You can see the mast would have been a lot taller. Constructed to General Benedict Arnold's design. Simple flat bottom floating gun platform. One 12 pounder, two nine pounders, eight three fourths pounder swivel guns along the rail. The 12 pounder was mounted at the bow. And then this is some of the relics that they had found. here. Here's Lake Champlain. So when you see the Great Lakes, you can come up through New York, through the Hudson River, through Lake Champlain, up here through Montreal, and then down into the Great Lakes. And that's why people were fighting here. But in the War of 1812, Oliver Hazard Perry is going to fight over here on the Great Lakes, because this is how this waterway is used. I'm still in awe of this ship. It just blows me away.
Roll of the Philadelphia. And it says in 1973, researchers discovered the payroll at a museum in San Angelo, Texas, hidden in a portable desk that belonged to Benjamin Rule, the ship's captain. Created five days after the battle, the document represents the final muster of the Philadelphia crew. And you can see all of their names here. It's a reproduction.